Scene Script Have you ever wondered what life would be like if dinosaurs still roamed the Earth? Let's take a moment and plunge into the depths of this intriguing hypothetical world. Imagine, for a moment, the initial shock and fear that might grip us as we encounter these colossal creatures, their towering forms casting long shadows over our modern cities. The very thought of sharing our world with these prehistoric giants could send shivers down the spine of even the bravest among us. Consider the awe-inspiring sight of a Brachiosaurus lumbering past your window, or the heart-stopping roar of a T-Rex echoing through the city streets. Our everyday lives could become a thrilling yet terrifying roller coaster ride of unbelievable encounters and breathtaking sights. Yet, one can't help but wonder, would this new world be solely about chaos and fear? Or is there a possibility that we, as a species, could find a way to adapt, to coexist with these magnificent beasts? But would it be all chaos and fear, or could we find a way to coexist? Imagine starting your day not with the honk of cars, but with the roar of a T-Rex. Picture this for a moment. You're having your morning coffee, and instead of the familiar roar of engines, you're greeted with the thunderous footsteps of a Diplodocus strolling down the street. Now, let's take this a step further. You step outside, ready for your daily commute. But instead of cars and buses, the streets are filled with dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes. There's a herd of Triceratops blocking the crosswalk again, their three-horned heads bobbing as they slowly cross the road. It's rush hour, dinosaur style, and patience is the name of the game. And it's not just the ground-level traffic you'd have to worry about. Look up. That's a pterodactyl swooping down, causing a bit of chaos in its wake. These prehistoric birds ruling the skies would certainly add a new dimension to your commute. You thought dealing with pigeons was tough? Try dodging a pterodactyl on your way to work. But it's not all chaos and challenges. Imagine the awe and wonder of sharing your world with these magnificent creatures. Every day would be like stepping back in time. A thrilling journey into a world lost millions of years ago. You'd be up close and personal with nature in a way we can only dream of today. Of course, safety measures would have to be in place. Perhaps designated pathways for the larger dinosaurs to avoid any unwanted trampling incidents. And let's not forget about the potential for dinosaur crossing signs, an amusing yet necessary addition to our roadways. In this world, your daily commute wouldn't just be a mundane routine, it would be an adventure, a daily expedition into a living, breathing history lesson. From the smallest Compsognathus to the largest Brachiosaurus, each day would bring new surprises and challenges. So as you sit in traffic today, surrounded by cars and the sounds of the modern world, just think for a moment. How would your commute be if you were sharing the road with a dinosaur? Getting to work would surely become an adventure of its own. Opening. How would our cities and homes change to accommodate these giant creatures? Imagine for a moment a world where dinosaurs roam amid skyscrapers and highways. A world where a Triceratops might be your neighbor, and a flock of pterodactyls could be seen flying over the city skyline. This isn't just a scene from a science fiction movie, it's a fascinating thought experiment about how our modern infrastructure would need to adapt if dinosaurs still walked the Earth. First and foremost, our buildings would need to be larger and stronger. The average dinosaur, after all, was the size of a car. And some, like the Argentinosaurus, were as long as two double-decker buses. Our buildings would need to withstand the occasional bump from a wandering dinosaur, and our doors would need to be wide enough for a velociraptor to walk through comfortably. And let's not forget the need for reinforced sewer systems to manage the, well, let's just say the larger volumes. But it's not all about size and strength. Our technological advancements could play a significant role in this hypothetical world, Imagine sensors that alert us when a dinosaur is nearby, or advanced traffic management systems that keep our roads clear when a herd of Triceratops decide it's time to cross. Drone technology could monitor dinosaur activity and help us understand their behaviors better, reducing potential conflicts between humans and these ancient creatures. Our cities would need to be reimagined, not just to accommodate the physical presence of dinosaurs, but also their behaviors and needs. 
Parks might need to be expanded into vast green spaces to provide enough food for our herbivorous friends. Our lighting systems would need to consider the nocturnal dinosaurs and noise pollution would have to be curbed to not disturb the sensitive hearing of many dinosaur species. In essence, our cities would transform. They would become a unique blend of the prehistoric and the modern where technology meets nature in its most primal form. Our cities would become living, breathing testaments to mankind's ingenuity and adaptability. Ending. Our cities would become a blend of prehistoric and modern, a sight to behold. Living with dinosaurs would not just affect us, but our entire ecosystem. If dinosaurs were to walk the earth again, the ripple effects would be far-reaching. Consider, for instance, the impact on the environment. Dinosaurs, especially the larger species, were known for their voracious appetites. They would consume vast quantities of vegetation, which could lead to deforestation and soil erosion. At the same time, their massive size would mean they'd naturally create paths through forests and other dense areas, perhaps promoting growth in certain ecosystems by allowing more sunlight to reach the forest floor. Now, let's examine the implications for other animal species. Dinosaurs, being apex predators, would sit at the top of the food chain. This could drastically alter the population dynamics of existing predators who would now have to compete with these ancient beasts for resources. However, this could potentially benefit smaller scavenger species, who would have an abundance of food from the leftovers of the dinosaurs' meals. But it's not all doom and gloom. Dinosaurs' return could also bring about unexpected benefits. Their dung, for instance, could serve as a significant source of nutrients for the soil, enhancing plant growth and leading to more robust ecosystems. Furthermore, their presence could stimulate evolution in other species, driving the emergence of new traits and behaviors as a response to this new competitive pressure. Yet, we must also consider the potential drawbacks. The introduction of new species always carries the risk of disease transmission. Dinosaurs could introduce ancient pathogens for which present-day species, including humans, have no immunity. This could result in widespread disease and potentially mass extinction events. In essence, the reintroduction of dinosaurs would bring about a seismic shift in our ecosystem. It would lead to a complex interplay of ecological, evolutionary, and conservation challenges that we could scarcely begin to predict. One thing's for sure, our world's biodiversity would be forever changed. So could we really live in a world filled with dinosaurs? This question has been at the heart of our discussion today, and as we wrap up, let's take a moment to revisit the main points. Picture the daily commute, not just with fellow humans, but with creatures from a time long past. Dinosaurs, once masters of the earth, now sharing our cities, our parks, our lives. It's a scenario that's as thrilling as it is terrifying. But could it be possible? The modern infrastructure we've built over centuries would face significant challenges. Buildings would need reinforcement, roads would need widening, and our systems of transportation would need to be reimagined. But if history has taught us anything, it's that humans are exceptional at adapting. We've built cities in deserts, we've carved homes into mountains, and we've even reached for the stars and set foot on the moon. With our intelligence and ingenuity, we could potentially modify our world to accommodate these ancient beasts. But the question remains, would the dinosaurs adapt to us? Could these creatures who once ruled the earth coexist peacefully with the species that now claims that title? It's a difficult question to answer, as dinosaurs are as diverse a group as mammals. Some might adapt well to urban life, much like pigeons or raccoons, while others might struggle. The impact on our ecosystems would be profound. Dinosaurs were, after all, a major part of Earth's history, shaping the world in ways we are still discovering. Their reintroduction could reshape our ecosystems in unpredictable ways, potentially causing more harm than good. Yet despite these challenges, the thought of coexistence remains enthralling. The idea of living side by side with creatures from a time long gone, of sharing our world with the dinosaurs, is undeniably captivating. It invites us to imagine a world that is radically different from our own, a world that challenges our understanding of what is possible, 
But as we dream of this fantastical world, we must remember that it remains, for now, a dream. Dinosaurs, as we know them, are extinct. While we may be able to recreate them through genetic engineering, the world they knew is gone, and the world we know would be forever changed by their presence. The possibility of humans and dinosaurs coexisting is a fascinating concept, one that invites us to explore our capacities for adaptation and our understanding of the world. It challenges us to rethink our place in the grand scheme of things, and to imagine a world where the past and the present intertwine. While it's a fascinating thought, for now, we can only wonder and imagine this extraordinary world where humans and dinosaurs coexist.